أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم This is the revelation of the book in which there is no doubt from the Lord of the worlds Or do they say he has forged it Nay, it is the truth from your Lord that you may admonish a people to whom no warner has come before you in order that they may receive guidance. It is Allah who has created the heavens and the earth and all between them in six days. Then he established himself on the throne of authority. You have none besides him to protect or intercede for you. Will you not then receive admonition? He rules all affairs from the heavens to the earth. In the end will all affairs go up to him on a day, the space whereof will be as a thousand years of your reckoning. Such is he, the knower of all things hidden and open, the exalted in power, the merciful. He who has made everything which he has created most good, he began the creation of man with nothing more than clay and made his progeny from a quint essence of the nature of a fluid despised. But he fashioned him in due proportion, and breathed into him something of his spirit, and he gave you the faculties of hearing and sight and feeling and understanding, little thanks do you give. And they say, what, when we lie hidden and lost in the earth, shall we indeed be in a creation renewed? Nay, they deny the meeting with their Lord. Say, the angel of death put in charge of you will duly take your souls. Then shall you be brought back to your Lord. If only you could see when the guilty ones will bend low their heads before their Lord, saying, Our Lord, we have seen and we have heard. Now then, send us back to the world. We will work righteousness, for we do indeed now believe. If we had so willed, we could certainly have brought every soul its true guidance, but the word from me will come true. I will fill hell with genes and men altogether. Taste you then, for you forgot the meeting of this day of yours, and we too will forget you. Taste you the penalty of eternity for your evil deeds. Only those who believe in our signs who when they are recited to them fall down in adoration and celebrate the praises of their Lord, nor are they ever puffed up with pride. Their limbs do forsake their beds of sleep, the while they call on their Lord, in fear and hope, and they spend in charity out of the sustenance which we have bestowed on them. Now no person knows what delights of the eye are kept hidden in reserve for them, as a reward for their good deeds. Is then the man who believes no better than the man who is rebellious and wicked? Not equal are they. For those who believe and do righteous deeds are gardens as hospitable homes for their good deeds. As to those who are rebellious and wicked, their abode will be the fire. Every time they wish to get away therefrom, they will be forced thereinto, and it will be said to them, Taste you the penalty of the fire, to which you were wont to reject as false. And indeed, we will make them taste of the penalty of this life prior to the supreme penalty, in order that they may repent and return. And who does more wrong than one to whom are recited the signs of his Lord, and who then turns away therefrom? Verily, from those who transgress we shall exact due retribution. We did indeed aforetime give the book to Moses, be not then in doubt of its reaching you. And we made it a guide to the children of Israel. And we appointed from among them leaders, giving guidance under our command, so long as they persevered with patience and continued to have faith in our signs. Verily, your Lord will judge between them on the day of judgment in the matters wherein they differ among themselves. Does it not teach them a lesson? How many generations we destroyed before them, in whose dwellings they now go to and fro? Verily, in that are signs. Do they not then listen? And do they not see that we do drive rain to part soil, bare of herbage, and produce therewith crops, providing food for their cattle and themselves? Have they not the vision?
They say, when will this decision be if you are telling the truth? Say, on the day of decision, no profit will it be to unbelievers if they then believe, nor will they be granted a respite. So turn away from them and wait. They too are waiting. <laughs>